Hey there guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be showing off my LEGO Avengers Purest Custom Characters. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while now, and I could finally show you guys these, so I'm very happy. And with all that said, let's begin. All right, so right over here we have Iron Man, and this is probably one of my favorites out of all of them, because I I didn't make them like over a year ago. So he's pretty special to me, and I thought he held up well now, so I didn't really change him at all. And yeah, as you can see, I kind of base it off like his older armor from the comics, like we have the gold arms right here. And then we got these gold legs, which isn't from an Iron Man figure, it's from the like Atlantean guards from an Aquaman set I have, and I think they fit great with his legs, like I love the look of him so much. And yeah, I did use the Heartbreaker armor, or torso, for, you know, his torso, and then I have the Infinity War Mark 50 helmet for, you know, his helmet, because the eyes do match the arc reactor right there, so yeah, I thought it would look cool. And then we do have his little Tony face right here. This is like, I guess one of like the older Tony Stark faces, because I know the new ones kind of look a, a lot different, but this is like from the, you know, first Avenger Mark VI Tony or whatever, because yeah, I'm old school like that. Alright, so next up is Quicksilver, and yeah, I know he normally has a blue suit, but like, his first appearance, um, he had a green suit for a while, and I really like that suit, so I kind of wanted the Lego one to have that, and I think it looks pretty cool, definitely one of my favorites still, I just love the green look, you know, but yeah, and for or what I use for his body, I use the Parademon body that I got in a Justice League set, and I think it fits really well for his suit, and yeah, pretty proud of, pretty proud of this guy. I do want to make one that kind of resembles the one from, like, the X-Men movies, though, because I love that Quicksilver, so I definitely have to do that soon, and I've been getting into him a lot more lately. Anyways, up next, we have Shang-Chi, and yeah, I was very happy with this uh, figure, um, I like Chang chi in general, so I definitely had to include him in the ensemble here. And yeah, I think he looks pretty good, you know. He has, like, his entire, like, body and legs is just Ninjago because, I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that would obviously fit for a Kung Fu character. And yeah, he does have his, uh, batons right here. And I think the hair fits pretty well for him. You know, Shang chi has had different hairstyles, but I like this kind of shorter one quite a bit. And yeah... Alright, next up we have Hawkeye, and I know it kind of looks a little bland because I barely have any purple on him, but I like it because I kind of made him like more realistic and whatnot. I don't know, I didn't want to include like a bunch of purple on him, just like the MCU version doesn't have a bunch of purple, but yeah, I kind of prefer Hawkeye like this, not with like an all purple suit, kind of just more realistic and all that like this, you know? I'm also a pretty big fan of the hairstyle I use, I don't know, I kind of like the long hair and beard for him. I haven't seen too many Hawkeye, I guess, iterations of that. So, yeah, pretty happy with this guy. All right, next up is Iron Fist. And I was pretty happy with this custom. Uh, I mean, he does have, like, the regular Iron Fist body and pants. But I did change his head and hair. This is, like, some Luke, Luke Skywalker hair. And this is, like, a Star-Lord slash Bucky Barnes face. So, yeah, I think it fits pretty well for him. And then next up, I have Thor. Oh, yeah. Pretty happy with this guy, too. He does have, like, the MCU face and hair. But I did use his comic body. And for the legs, um, I used, like, Aisha, like, the Sovereign character from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And I think it fits really well for his legs, you know? I didn't want these guys to have, like, legs without any printing. I don't know. I just prefer figures of leg printing. So I wanted to add these because, I mean, why not? Figures typically look better with leg printing. And, yeah. Alright, so next up is the White Wolf slash Bucky Barnes. So this is, like, just kind of my version of the White Wolf. Like, if he turned good and he became an Avenger, he can have this cool, you know, little White Wolf type suit. And, yeah, I did make his arm gold because, I don't know, maybe he lost his metal one, like, in a fight. And he has this new gold one. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool and matches with the suit. And I'm very happy with this. I did base, like, a short hair um off you know the falcon and winter soldier bucky look and i'm pretty happy with it and i and i did use this poe dameron face which i think worked extremely well 
for Bucky, like, the Civil War Lego Bucky had, you know, the Star-Lord face, but I think this Poe Dameron one looks way, way better. So, yeah. All right, so next up is probably my least favorite custom, Blue Cage, because, I don't know, I didn't really add too much. I forgot what that face was from, though, so sorry about that. But his torso is from, like, the Ultimate Spider-Man, like, Luke cage minifigure. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, I kind of want to add hair to him, but I used my only hair that I could use for him for Falcon over here. But Luke Cage is typically bald, so I think it looks fine. I still like him quite a bit, but yeah. All right, next up is Scarlet Witch. And yeah, pretty happy uh, with this figure. Um, I did use the MCU Scarlet Witch head from Civil War and Age of Ultron. I think they're the same head printed, but yeah. And I didn't use his hair, not Scarlet Witch hair, but just some random brown hair I found that would fit her quite well. And I kind of based her suit off the comics. Uh, you know, we have this nice torso over here which I think is pretty cool. It, it came from like some Lego Batman movie, like I guess minor villains or whatever. I forgot what they were called. So yeah, but still pretty cool. And I believe this like little dress thing in the back is from the Civil War uh, Scarlet Witch. So yeah, very happy with her. You know, I'm glad I was able to make both the twins. I really want to make a vision, but like for a purist custom for that character, I, I, I at least need the official Lego head, which I do not have. So, yeah, very unfortunate. All right, next up is Doctor Strange, and I'm pretty happy with him. Um, I know the, I guess, face is a little bit off because I guess his beard should be black, but this is, like, really the only one that could work. I mean, maybe a Tony head could work, but I don't want these guys to have, like, the same faces. So, yeah, um, I do think his hair is pretty spot on. It was kind of like the one that they used in the 2016 Doctor Strange which I think it fits quite a bit for, you know, for this figure. And then um, the torso, it is, BV, it's like the BVS Superman torso, as you can see right there. And yeah, I think it fits pretty well for him. Just really cool with all the gold and stuff, and it does match his gloves. And then for the legs, I did use like some Ninjago uh, J figure for them. And I still, I think it fits really well for him, you know? All right, so next up we have Nick Fury, which I just kind of threw him in here. I don't know if I included him in my Captain America, like, purist custom video, but I did want to include him in this because he just looks really badass to me. And, yeah, very happy with him. Uh, for the torso, I did use uh, General Hux's. And then for the legs, I did use, like, a First Order TIE Fighter pilot. And these legs look so cool with him. I love the, like, printed on here so much. And then I did make a video where I showed these guys off, but for those who haven't seen it, I'll just show them off real quickly. I do have Captain America and a Falcon here because, you know, I definitely have to include them in this video. But yeah, pretty happy with these guys. If you want to see me go into them more, check out my Purest Custom Captain America character video, and I will do that. And now for my last custom, and arguably my favorite, War Machine. So... Yeah, I wanted to add as much, like, artillery and weapons to this guy as I could. Like, as much of it. And I think I did a pretty good job doing that. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this guy. For the torso, I did use the cyborg body from, like, some Justice League set I got a while back. And I think it works great. Then for the arms and legs. I mean, the arm is arm printing, which I love. And then the legs... Also, his leg printing kind of accurate to the comics, though, because his arms were, like, mostly silver, and then his legs were mostly silver. So, yeah, and I got them both from, like, some, I don't even know, I think it was, like, some metal Batman Lego figure from the Batman movie. But, yeah, very happy with him. And then I did add these blasters to him on the back. So, yeah, very happy with those. I think they look great. You know, I kind of like War Machine being really bulky, and I think that adds to it quite a bit. And then for the face... This is like the James Rhodes head from Iron Man 3. Not, not the newer one, but yeah, I think this is the best James Rhodes head we've ever gotten. So pretty happy with it. And then, yeah, I just have a Civil War uh, War Machine Mark III helmet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my Avengers customs. I was really happy with how these guys turned out. Um, I do want to make more, but this is just kind of my main ensemble for now. And 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I've been wanting to show you guys these for the past, like, week, and now I have a chance to do it, so, yeah, I guess tell me down in the comments, um, like, you guys can just send a request if you want me to make more purist customs, and I guess tell me what characters specifically, I did start working on a Guardians of the Galaxy purist custom character, so, expect that soon, but, yeah, thank you all for watching, and with all that said, Hobo55, out.